Good morning, Motivation Team. How y'all doing this morning? Hope y'all having a great day. If y'all didn't do so already, smile. Tell your family you love them. Tell them good morning. Today is one of them days. Thank y'all for the support. Thank y'all for comment. Thank y'all for liking. If you're new, go on subscribe. Go ahead and get on the bus right now. Like, I only got like a couple videos from, from the start of Genesis to now. I mean, I'm gonna be putting more and more. That means we're gonna start moving a little quicker. With that being said, y'all, don't forget bag community. Make sure that we know what bag mean. Make sure we know B-A-G, bag community. Blessed, ambitious generation, y'all. That is what we are. We are a blessed, ambitious generation. With that being said, y'all, let's go ahead and get to the video. Where do we leave off at? Oh, yeah. So, y'all, y'all remember? Jacob stole Ezau's blessing. Rebecca overheard Isaac telling his I will go make him some venison, go get him some food, make it the way he like it. Rebecca said, oh, okay. So you ain't finna bless Jacob? All right, Jacob, come here. I want you to go get two young lambs and I'm, I'm gonna cook it. She said, I'm gonna cook it the way he like it and all that. And I want you to give it to him so you can take the blessing that Ezau was gonna get from his father. And they did just that, she put go skin on his hands on his neck to make sure that he can so because isaac was losing his sight so she can make sure when isaac would go would go to touch him he'll be like okay you must be as i will rebecca she wanted jacob to get gone she wanted jacob hey your brother he mad i need to send you off now where i'm finna start it i believe it takes us back before she sent jacob away so isaac he told jacob to marry a woman not of the Canaanites. Do not. He told him not to marry a Canaanite woman. He told him, "Get up. I need you to go to Padana Rome and find a wife." Laban was out there. Laban, Rebecca's brother, he was out there. He had a couple daughters. You know what I'm saying? He had a couple daughters out there, and that's who he wanted to go out there with to find to help find a wife. Isaac blessed him. I'm gonna read the blessing. The blessing is in Genesis 28, 3 and 4. Isaac told Jacob. And God Almighty bless thee and made thee fruitful and multiply thee and that thou mayest be a multitude of people and give the blessing of Abraham to thee and to thy seed with thee that thou mayest inherit the land wherein thou art a stranger which God gave unto Abraham. That was Isaac's blessing to Jacob. As I overheard the conversation of Jacob of Isaac of Isaac telling Jacob not to marry a woman of the Canaanite. So Ezawu like, all right, I gotta make things right. So Ezawu, he goes and finds Ishmael, Isaac's son, and he marries one of his daughters. Ezawu marries one of Ishmael's daughters. Her name was Mahala. And now Ezawu have three wives. Now we head back to Jacob. He on his way to Haran. He stopped in Beersheba. He arrived at a place that felt familiar to him and he stayed there because the sun was starting to go down. He grabbed two stones and used them as pillows and he went to sleep. He started to dream and he dreamed of a ladder. It was a ladder and it was a ladder going from the ground all the way up to the heavens. And he seen angels going up and down and it was the Lord standing at the very top of it. Now we're gonna go to Genesis chapter 28, verse 13 through 15. It says, and behold, the Lord stood above it and said, I am the Lord God of Abraham, your father, and the God of Isaac. The land on which you lie, I will give you and to your offspring. Your offspring shall be like the dust of the earth and you shall spread abroad to the west, to the east, and to the north and to the south. And in you and your offspring shall all the families of the earth be blessed. Behold, I am with you and will keep you wherever you go and will bring you back to this land. For I will not leave you until I have done what I have promised you. That was the English Standard Version. So, after he said that to Jacob in his sleep while he was dreaming, Jacob then wakes up and he says, the Lord is definitely here in this place. And I did not know it. So Jacob got up early. He used them two he used them two stones he had 
as pillows. He used them as for pillars. And he poured oil on top of it. Now, I'm going to say this. He did describe the place he was at as dreadful and scary. And he did say it, it got to be where God is from, where his home is at. Now, and he, and he said, this got to be the gates of hell. Because he said he, he he said he was scared. So I don't know. Anybody can help me out with that part? Need some help right there. He called the place he was at Bethel. And it meant the house of God. But the actual name of the city was called Luz. Then Jacob, he made a promise. We'll go to Genesis chapter 28. Verses 20 through 22. And Jacob vowed a vow, saying, If God will be with me and will keep me in this way that I go, and will give me bread to eat and raiment to put on, so that I come again to my father's house in peace, then shall the Lord be my God. And this stone, which I have set for a pillar, shall be God's house. And of all that thou shalt give me, I will surely give thee tent unto thee. That was the promise that he made to God. So Jacob began his journey again. He arrived where, he, where the people of the east live. He looked around and saw a well in the field. Three sheets were sitting right under it. Usually when it's a stone covering the well, can't, they can't give the sheep no water until all of the sheep come and sit under the well. When all the sheep come to sit on the well, then that's when they push the stone back and give water to the well, I mean, and give water to the sheep. Jacob asked the men that was around, he said, um, where y'all from? They they all said, Haran. He asked them about Laban, if, if, if they knew Laban and how he was doing. They're like, oh yeah, he, he good, yeah, we know Laban. That's his daughter right over there. Her name is Rachel. Jacob looks over there. He like, whoa, that's, that's his daughter? He's like, yeah, that's his daughter. He said, all right, I'm gonna keep that in the back of my mind. So he see Rachel coming through with, with the sheep. And, and, and as he talks to the guy, he like, hold on, hold on, I'm finna go over there real quick. So as she coming through, she going to the well. And Jacob, he decided to leave from the guys and go over there to the well too, to help her push the stone back. Y'all tell me why this man go over there, helps her push the stone back, and then kisses her. <gasps> he kissed her and told her, Rebecca is my mother, and Laban is my is my uncle, and stuff like that. And he just started, it said he wept. I think wept mean he like cry, like a little cry. And she, and she ain't say nothing, she just took off to wit and told LeBron. So as soon as LeBron heard, he came, met Jacob, they gave, he, he gave him a hug and said, hey, I heard you was coming. To come on back to the crib. So Jacob, Jacob and LeBron, they talking, he, he, he caught him up on everything and Jacob ended up staying for a month. And LeBron says, hey, you family, you shouldn't even be working for me, but you won't. Jacob came right out and said, I want your daughter. And he he went to describing them. He said, Rachel, she she got the body, she got the she got the beautiful looks. Now, Leah, she got good eyes, she got kind eyes. Jacob, he he cut the button off while, while he was talking about Leah. He said, I want Rachel. I want Rachel. And he says, That's cool. I'd rather get her to you than anybody else. He said he'll work for seven years for Rachel. He works seven years. And LeBron said, cool, seven years ain't nothing. All right, cool, you want my daughter for real? Seven years. Time passes, Jacob goes to LeBron and says, hey, time is up, where's your daughter? He's like, okay, okay, slow down, slow down. Let's eat. He gathers up everybody. They have a, they have a, a gathering, they have a feast. They go down, time goes, nighttime comes. LeBron gives his daughter up. Now y'all think I'm talking about Rachel. Nah, 
Nah, he didn't even give Rachel to to Jacob. He gave he gave Jacob Leah. They slept together. Jacob didn't realize till the morning. When he woke up, huh? He looked at who he slept with. He said, "Whoa! Oh whoa. no, Laban! Laban! What you got going? What is this? You gave me Leah." I was supposed to be marrying Rachel. He said, hey, where I'm from, we don't give up our youngest daughter. I'm gonna need you to just work, with, just work with her for a week and cool, I'll give, you, I'll give you Rachel. But right now, I can't give my youngest up just yet. He said, man, that ain't cool, but all right. But that wasn't the, the only agreement. He said, I'm gonna need you to do another seven years. Now, I think they seven years and our seven, like back then seven years was like probably quicker than today's seven years. Cause ain't no way, I'm not finna work for nobody for seven years just to marry their daughter. And then now you telling me that I gotta wait another seven years? It's 14 years and I ain't even got the daughter yet. Jacob said, cool, that ain't nothing. That ain't nothing. So LeBron finally gave up Rachel. Jacob slept with her. He loved the way more than he did Leah. And the Lord didn't like that. The Lord didn't like how he treated Leah. So he closed up Rachel's womb. Rachel can't have children no more. Leah, on the other hand, she pregnant. <gasps> Leah's pregnant. And that's why my dad always told me God don't like ugly. Cause now Jacob can't even have babies with the with the girl he actually liked for real because he was being mean to Leah. So she became pregnant and had their son, Reuben. She said, the Lord saw how much I was suffering and now my husband would love me. And not only just one kid, but two kids. She said, the Lord has heard that I had been hated, so he gave me another son. She named him Simon. Not two, but three. She named the third one Levi. But not just three kids, but four. She named the last one Judah. She done had four kids so quick. Now Jacob got four kids. He he got two wives, four kids already. I guess Rebecca didn't know what she was sending her son into. LeBron to turned this man into an old father real quick. Oh, real quick. She says now she can really praise the Lord and after that she had no more children. So Rachel, she seen the way Leah was having all these kids. So she went to Jacob. Hey, you need to give me some kids or, or, or I'm going to die. And Jacob, he like. He trying to find out who she talking to. Because she must can't be talking to him. So Jacob say, you think I'm God? You think it's me stopping you from having kids? Crazy she was. She went and said, you know what? I bet. She went and got her personal maid bill her. She went and got her personal maid bill her. And she told him, hey, sleep with her so she can have our kids. We just have kids through her. Jacob did just that. Now y'all remember, in order to just sleep with them, you had to marry them. So that's his third wife, that quick. So he sleeps with bill her. She becomes pregnant, and Jacob's first son with Bilha, Rachel's personal maid, they named him Dan. And he ain't just sleep with her one time, he stayed with her twice. Hey, Jacob really must, he, he, he must like it out there. He must like it. Them 14 years waiting for Rachel must, he must didn't care. He has another baby by the maid, Bilha, and they named it Naphtali. Now, Leah finds out she was she couldn't have children again. So she like, dang, I can't even have children no more. My sister Rachel over there having children. I can't even have children no more. So what she do? She goes to get her personal maid. Her personal maid was Zilpah. And she gave her to Jacob. That's four wives and another child. The son named Gad. They named him Gad. And she ain't just had just one child. She got pregnant again. 
Oh my goodness. Leah says, oh, I am so happy and other women will be happy of me for me too. So she named this baby Asher. Y'all, I don't know if telling your wife no back then was a bad thing. Cause this is a cause that's exactly what he should have told Leah after the first child. And that's exactly what he should have told Rachel. That's what he should have told Rachel. When he when she couldn't have kids, she she's like, hey, we're gonna wait until it's time for you to have one. Cause now he he four wives in. We're gonna count the kids. Reuben, the firstborn of Jacob and Leah, he went to the wheat harvest and to the fields, and he found some some mandrake plants. He bring them back, bring them to Leah, show her what what he found. Rachel walking by, give me some of them mandrakes, and Leah like, so you hold on, so you steal my husband. And you trying to get some of my son man's rights? What is wrong with you? Rachel say, hey, I'll let you sleep with Jacob if you give me some of the man's rights. She gave the man's rights up and she found Jacob. <laughs> Jacob went, Jacob minding his business on his way back from the field. And here go Leo. My sister, so my sister Rachel said, you gotta sleep with me tonight. Cause I gave her, I gave her some of my son Mandrakes. And Jacob, I know he like, huh? First of all, you married a woman that you ain't even want for real. Now you got about seven kids with her. So they slept together and God heard Leah request. She had her fifth son with Jacob and says, the Lord has rewarded me for giving them my personal maid to my husband. I will name him Issachar. And Leah became pregnant again. Oh no. And she says, now God has given me a good gift. Now my husband will honor me. I gave him six sons. She named this one Zebulun. Later, she had a daughter. Oops. She had a daughter named Denim. And God didn't forget about Rachel. He opened Rachel's womb and she became pregnant also and they named this one Joseph. And Rachel says, may the Lord gave me an additional son. Now, before I end the video off, let's do a tally. And let's see how many kids this man like really didn't just got. So, first, he married Leah. So we're gonna start out with Leah first. Reuben, Simon, Levi, Judah, Issachar, Zebulun, and Dinah. That's seven kids. Then he had kids by her maid too. Gad and Asher. That's nine kids, y'all. Nine kids just from Leah. The, the woman he didn't even want for Rachel. Now, Rachel, he had the first two by the maid first. Dan, Naphtali. And Joseph was the one that Rachel had. This man had three kids by the girl he actually loved for. He only had three kids. God don't like ugly. And the woman he didn't even want for, he got nine kids by. Well, seven kids by her. And then the, two, the other two. This man got four wives. So what would y'all rather want? Would y'all rather want your son to be like Ezawu? Hell, he, he got three wives. I ain't even heard him have no kids yet. He got three wives, but I ain't heard him. I ain't heard nothing about no kid. Or y'all want a Jacob. He then went out. Got four wives real quick. So he got 12 kids. He didn't got four wives, 12 kids. I don't know how, I don't know what time span because he didn't, he didn't waste 14 years for one girl. <laughs> he didn't waste 14 years for one girl. So I don't know how long it was. But y'all, yeah, I'm going to end it off right there, y'all. Thank y'all for watching. Thank y'all for tuning in. Hey, if you're new, subscribe. Like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know how you like the video. Let me know on, let me know what you think about it. Because it was just straight drama for me. Yeah, so let me know what y'all think. And y'all, don't forget, I got a ba I got bag shirts coming. Bag community. B-A-G. Blessed Ambitious Generation. We will be on top. Blessed Ambitious Generation. Let's go.